Hello, I am Ragnarok, and welcome to The Reckoning. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial video on how to get the cores for the Age of Calamus mod on Conan Exiles the game. Uh, there are three cores in this game, Elorican core, uh, Chronixium core, and the Onyx core. Um, they, all three cores, or at least one of the three cores, are used in majority of the endgame armors and weapons for the Age of Calamus mod for your factions and for the, just the Age of Calamus mod things in general. Um, so we're going to go through basically every step on what is required and where you go to make the items that go into it. Um, so it's a pretty lengthy process. Hopefully you don't get confused. You're probably going to have to bounce around the video if you try to use this um, go along with uh, with me. Uh, we're basically going to make go through making all three cores kind of at once. Um, so we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Um, but yeah, let's look into it um, and uh, hopefully this helps. I set this little area up. Um, we're just going to basically go through... if. If there's an item that is required, uh, requires gathering to get, uh, we're not going to go over where to get them because um, things like er the Aurora Herbs and the Widow's Leaf, um, we'll make a different video on that in the future. Or if this is you're watching this in the future, there may already be a video. So make sure to check to see if there is a, a Age of Calamitous um, resource gathering tutorial. If not, it will be coming soon. But However, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the, down, the bottom up and work our way up because there are some mats that, you know, for very, uh, early beginners... Um, or people that are still fairly new, they may not be familiar with. So some of them are gonna, you'll probably look at and be like, uh, duh. Um, but that's every, we all had to start somewhere, right? And we're basically work our way from the bottom. Um, this is gonna this is every map that's gonna be required to make the cores, and then at the towards the end, we'll actually go to the places where you make the cores and make the cores. So let's start first. One of the bottom, the prerequisites, prerequisites, prerequisites is tar. Um, and we're just going to go over some of the ways to get some of these things. I know there's a lot of ways to make a lot of this stuff. Uh, we're just going to go over a couple of the ways. So first way to make tar is you put hide and a furnace or in a tanning bench. Three hide makes one tar. Now, or you put thick hide in there. And for that, it's a one to one. So one th one thick hide equals one tar. There you go. Put this in there. So next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need glass. How do we make glass? We go to our furnace. This is the improved furnace, but you can make it at the regular furnace that you get at level whatever it is ten, I believe it is. Um, and all it is is crystal. Put crystal in the furnace. I'm using oils, fuel. You can use wood if you want. Doesn't really matter. You just hit play. Boom. And two crystal equals one glass. All right. I'm trying to go through this fairly fast because some of these are very uh, basic, like I said. But like I said, everybody's got to learn somewhere. Uh, let's see. Next is the enchanting table. Uh, there it is. And I have my speed in. I'm probably moving fast because I have the speed increased. <laughs> Plant fiber and coal. Okay. So the next item we need to, we're going to need at some point is scorched thatch right here scorch thatch so all that is is plant fiber coal select it craft it boom scorch thatch all right so one of the next things we need oh. so one of the next things we need is going to be blue bell dust so that's actually a vanilla item all you do is you get the blue bell plant and you flew put it into a grinder and you basically get uh, one blue bill plant equals 10 dust. I'll just take this out and put it back in there so we don't waste it all. Um, let's see. So one of the next things we'll need is steel fire. Steel fire is made at the cauldron. And again, this is the improved fireball cauldron. Um, but you can make it at the vanilla, the, um, the normal one that you get. I think you get a level 15 or whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't matter. And again, I'm... Oh, there's no fuel for these. All it is for steel fire, it's right here. Steel fire. This is the same way you would make steel bars, too. Um, you need steel fire. And without... And all these are without thralls, by the way. Uh, you just need two tar and one brimstone. Craft. Two tar, one brimstone equals... There you go. Steel fire. Okay, so one of the next things we need is a common potion medium. That is made at the alchemy desk. And all that takes is glass. The Alchemy Desk is an Age of Calamitous station, and it's right here. Common, medium, and potion. It takes four glass. 
You get that, and we get a nice little bottle. The reason we need that is because you need to make the bottles. Okay, next. We're going to make Ella Ricken powder. That's also made at this location. So let's get the mask for it. Unstable substance and Whittle's leaf. So unstable substance and Whittle's leaf. And we're making this right here. Ella Ricken. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Powder. Boom. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to make a crescent water, which is also made in the station. That's what it looks like right there. Age of Clam Station again. This one takes Scorched Thatch, Vulcan Bees, Uncut Amethyst, and Bluebell Dust. Boom, boom. So as you can see, we're already working our way up because we learned how to make the Scorched Thatch, and we learned how to make the Bluebell Dust, and these are items you gather. And what did I say we were making? We are making Crescent Water. Craft one of them. There you go. Alright, next way up is we're going to learn how to make Enchanted Thatch. That is made at your Enchanting Table, again. And that is... Made with Plant Fiber, Mystical Dust, and Bluebell Dust. And it is right here. It's the purple fiber looking thing five plant fiber one mystical dust two bluebell dust and it makes you a nice little enchanted thatch next would be dragon powder dragon powder actually we just get the mask for it first uh we need Steam blood, brimstone, crystals, and steel fire. Steam blood you gather, brimstone you gather, crystal you gather, and we just learned in the station previously how to make steel fire. And this is all done in your fireball cauldron again, so it's the vanilla working station. Dragon powder, craft it. It's a little slower to craft. Boom. There we go. So, our next one is the liquid Elorican. That is also made at your alchemy desk. So what we're looking for is this one right here, Liquid Elrican. It's the green potion, basically. And we need Unstable Substance, Emeralds, Elrican Powder, and Potion. So as you see, we learned how to make these two things already. And all this is stuff you need to make for all the cores. So some of these things are only required in certain cores. So you can just skip to the point of the video um, where certain items are. Uh, so next, we need a Tunic of Enhanced Preservation, which is this item right here. Tunic of Enhanced Preservation. Or Tonic. Tunic. Oops. Right here. So to make that, you need a Dragon Horn. You gather that. Icor. You gather that. Um, or Goldstone. Or and goldstone, which you gather. You can actually create a core, uh, I core. Um, if you cook shrimp from a fish trap, you can technically for each shrimp you cook, you get one I core. Uh, but main a lot, one of the most common ways to see people do it is you just kill spiders and you certain spiders, and you get it from there. But anyways, craft one of these puppies. And that's what it looks like uh, right there. So you got your dragon horn, goldstone, and your icor. Okay, so next thing we're gonna need is a Lutheran metal bar. So we're gonna have to go over to the regular, the master furnace. This is the first furnace you get for the Age of Calamitous mod, and we're gonna need all these items. And in this furnace, I'm using white oak wood. White oak wood for Age of Calamitous, uh, anything that requires fire, is actually a better fuel source. It's like 10 times better than oil. So we need to make the Lutheran, which I believe is the... Yes, it is. It's the pink, purple, whatever color you want to call that. I think I call it pink. Um, right there. Ruby. Six ruby. Twelve mystical dust. One uncut, uncut amethyst. And three crescent water. So we learned how to make this and this. And then these two are... 
gathered. Um, you can get this gathered. I will just show a brief before we craft this. Um, actually, we'll craft it first. Lateran bar, craft. Play. There you go. One Lateran bar. Awesome. All right, so for gems, just to give you a brief description, I, I'll use the emeralds as a... You go to the gem crafting station, you... you We'll probably see more uncut any any kind. It doesn't matter. They're all this. They all work the exact same way. You'll probably see more of these in your inventory than these other ones. So this is tier one, tier two, and then the big, nice, pretty one is tier three. Um, all the tier threes obviously look different. And all it is is you take the tier one, and you can craft. You need six of them. You craft it. It makes one tier, tier two. Now, you take four tier twos, craft it. And it makes one tier three. Boom. So that's how you upgrade those, just in case you're not familiar with it. All right. So one of the next thing, one of the next things we need is mystical dust, which is again over here. This is an item you'll probably make often early game, depending on what faction you choose. Um, it's very popular in a lot of the early game crafting things. So all it is is mystical plant right here, and aurora herb. And it's this one right here. Mystical Dust. Hit craft. And there it is. Mystical Dust right there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to make is the Runic Enchantment. Uh, that is made at the Plague Furnace. This is a feat you learn at level 80. So you this is you obviously can't make these cores until level 80. Um, which you wouldn't even have the recipes anyways to make the items that they, the cores require. So anyways, um, we're going to take the items out. So the play furnace is a little different. Um, the fuel for it is the unstable substance. That's what your fuel is going to be. Um, and we're going to make the runic enchantment, which is this blue rock looking thing right here. It takes the tonic of enhanced preservation. We learned how to make that. The dragon powder. We learned how to make that. And the enchanted thatch. There you go. And it made the runic enchantment. So the next thing and the last thing we're going to make before we learn how to make the Onyx cores is the Plague Crystal, which is also made at the Plague Furnace. And that's this glowy green crystal thing right here. And that takes the Lutera Melda Bar, the Liquid Elorican, and some more unstable substance, and a Topaz. And there you go. Or, sorry, there you go. Okay, so the next thing is, is now that we learned all the prereqs to the cores, now we have to go make the cores. So the first core you're going to have to make, um, you either may need this core, um, which is the onyx core, in a crafted item. But if you don't need the onyx core, you need the chronixium core or the arocan core. Well, the onyx core is a pre is an ingredient that's required to craft those cores. So regardless... You will need the Onyx Core. If you need a core, you need the Onyx Core, at least one of them, whether it's for directly or as an ingredient in the next core up. So we're gonna make the Onyx, the Onyx Core first. I'm gonna take the mats required for it, and we're gonna go where we need to. So here we are at the Lava Temple. Um, I don't know if that's the official name, but that's what I call it. Anyways, we're at the Lava Temple, and this is where you make your Onyx Core. So you roll up. As long as you've learned the feat for it, if you go into the Volcanic Forge, there you go. Onyx Core. So Onyx Cores take 100 Onyx, 250 Obsidian, 10 Ruby, and 50 Cobblestone. So these are pretty much all, resource, all resources that you gather. There's nothing crafted for this unless you had to craft the Ruby from Uncut Rubies. Um, but other than that, these are all stuff you gather naturally. Take it. And we craft. There you go. There's your Onyx Core. Nice and easy, straight to the point, nothing special. Okay, so here we are at the Frost Temple, um, and, and this is where you make the last two cores, the Elorican Core and the Chronixium Core. They're both made at the Frost Forge, I believe it's called. Let's see. Frost Temple Smithy. Okay. So they're both made here. Um, so basically for this, you just go into it, and there's your two cores. So like I said, you have to, as you can see, for each core, um, the Onyx core is a prerequisite. Um, so you have to go, you're going to have to go to the, the Lava Temple first, then come here. 
And for the Elrican core, it is one Onyx core, 100 unstable substance, 10 emeralds, and one play crystal. So as you can see, we learned how to craft this and this. The other two are gathered gathered resources. Um, craft it. There you go. There's your Elrican core. Now the next and last one is the Chronixium core. And that takes one Onyx core, 30 mystical dust, 10 sapphire, and one runic enchantment. Again, we learned how to make that, that, and the other two are gathered. And there's your Chronixium core, nice purple. Okay, so we're back, and basically we learned how to make the cores. Um, if you're curious where you make the cores, for, what you made the cores for, if you go into like a workshop, for example, like the armor I'm wearing right now, or some of the armor I'm wearing right now is the Frost Knight armor, which is the Cold Embrace's end game armor. As you can see, both, pretty much every piece takes at least one, or they all take one sky and metal bar, for example. Um, and then, here we go, here's the Harbinger of Stoles. It takes one Chronixium steel bar. So, we go over to the furnace where those are made, which is the Master Furnace. The Chronixium steel bar takes two Chronixium cores, and the Skyen metal bars take two Onyx cores. So then you have other metal bars for other things. Um, for example, the Zarium metal bar takes two Elrican cores. Um, you can pretty much bet on anything that takes cores is going to take at least two, or is going to take two cores. Let's see if that's true for all the bars. I think there's only those three ones that take, yeah. So, yes, you're always going to need two cores for each bar. Um, so that will help you get an idea. Um, so if you need... For example, for the full set of Frost armor, you need five Sky and Bars, which means you're going to need ten cores. Um, whatever core it was for the... Again, I already forget. Sky and Bar was Onyx Core, so you need ten Onyx Cores. Um, for the weapon, you'll need two... You'll only need one bar for the Harbingers of Souls, so you need two Chronic Seam Cores. So, that'll give you an idea of what you need to make the end game items. Okay, so we did an overview of the cores, the Elorican core, Chronixium core, and the Onyx core, uh, where to make them and how to make them, and basically all the prerequisites and the prerequisites of the prerequisites, um, basically down to its simplest form of how to craft them and at what station to craft them and what materials are needed. So like I said, you can kind of work your way backwards um, throughout the video to figure out what cores need ultimately what basic material. Um, hope it helped out. If it did, hit that like button. Um, let's me know that you know the video is doing good and that um, you want to see more of these videos in the, videos in the future. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, um, anything I might have missed or anything I skipped over, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I do read the comments. Remember to hit the subscribe button uh, so you can get notified when the next tutorial or showcase video comes out for Conan Exiles, Age of Clamus, or whatever other game we also may be adding to the channel. Um, also, if you would like the content, we do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Ragnarok Live. Uh, we also have a Discord channel where we play on the same servers. We share info and news, talk about upcoming videos, and just in general help each other out in all the games that we play. Uh, links for both are in the description below. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. And as always, fear the reckoning.